Hi everyone, my name is Piers Ridiard. I am the CEO of RDX Works, a core developer of the centralized finance protocol Radix. And today I have Wiley from XRD Domains and we're going to be talking a little bit about what XRD Domains are and what makes them so cool. So, do you want to just start off with a little bit about what XRD Domains is? Yeah, so XRD Domains basically a primary developer of the Radix name service. Uh, we're creating a human readable addresses. Nobody wants to remember a like, 65 character address. Unless I you're remember a mine. Like, oh, well, yeah. I won't try the marketing ploy on you then. Because <laughs> <laughs> I did, did it with Jacob the other day. Oh, I, no, I definitely don't remember mine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. No one wants to remember a crypto yeah. address. Yeah, so building that at base level, that's the, the idea is just to build out a, a simple name service. If we're going further, we're supercharging it. Doing it the Radix way with uh, user experience, make sure there's, uh, there's an abstraction layer on top of it. Uh, so people don't need to be aware of the technicalities right. behind the scenes. Um, and also DeFi uh, enabling the platform with that, like our insignias feature, um, where you can have a, a insurance that applies to the domain so it protects people. People can stamp an insignia, which means like, uh, let's say partners like Hacken right. can conduct a code audit right. and it's a stamp of approval. So it's, it's, like, it's, it's, almost, it's like certifi it's certifying something. It's yeah. more than just domains, you're also able to certify yeah. information on Ledger as well. Yeah, and it's like a, it's, it's, there's like a form of inheritance. Right. So, so like a, a trust chain essentially, right, right, right. which and, is quite powerful, you know? And so like, I suppose for a lot of people, domains on top of Web3, Crypto, DeFi makes a lot of sense. Like yeah, I yeah. don't want to like, how do I know if this smart contract is the right smart contract? Exactly. Oh, yeah. it's this, you know, 65 digit number. I like, yeah, yeah. does that look right? You know, yeah. and then you go on Telegram, you're like, is this the right smart contract? And then someone else is like, yes, this is the right, no, this is actually the right smart contract. Turns out to be a scammer. Like, so there's so much things that don't go well when things aren't human readable. Yeah, exactly. And there's so many things that don't go well when you can't verify that something is connected with something else. Exactly. So. That's the problem at the moment. I mean, the, the, there's kind of, uh, they've sorted out the human readability, Yeah. but there still needs to be some kind of validation, and verification, right. Right. because you know you can easily replace an I with a one. And there's a lot of stuff in the web two space with domains right. that needs to be fixed for web three. So we're kind of migrating that across. Right, okay. And so um, what, like, what made you decide that Domains was the thing you wanted to look at. Like, how did you decide to start building domains? Yeah, well, uh, it, it was pretty much already being adopted in the uh, in Twitter sphere. Right. Uh, so people had XRD. They were going all vanity. And, but to me, I was thinking, oh, I just I can't just do a vanity project. I, right. I can't keep things simple. I've got to like really do something that's different right. and something that makes sense right. and something that has big. Like has a like creates big opportunities, but it's a big opportunity in itself. Right. So that's like when the DeFi comes in with the insurance layer. Yeah. I thought, wow, this you know this could create a sub ecosystem of insurance providers, etc. So okay, we'll get on me. to the insurance because I think yeah. that's like the next cop next two topics down. Yeah. But um, let's just talk about it from the point of view of uh, how it's been going. Yeah. So like, where w what have you done already? Uh, and uh, what, like, where is the project today? Yeah. And then what, what's next? Yeah, yeah. So, so far, the first thing that I did is put a, a absolute killer team together. Like, we have an awesome team, and having Faraz out here has just proven that I've got the best team ever, and I'm working alongside the best team. Uh, that that's first and foremost. Um, second of all, got the community interested. Yeah. Like, piqued everyone's interest. Yeah. People want these things, you know. It's de they're definitely in demand. Um, set up the foundation, so the RNS foundation. So you know we're in a really good legal position that we're, in terms of like structure. That's yep. well primed. We're right. ready to go. Um, so I built a centralized representational model. Uh, Alid, my Alid and myself have been building the technology. Alid's the front a front end dev, um, and the Chrome extension, which will be coming out next week. It's basically just to give people a flavor of how it's going to look during uh, Babylon. Yeah. Uh, the idea was for Beam to write out. The representational model in crypto, and then I hook up the new stubs. Uh, well, Beam did that in a week. <laughs> so it's putting me to shame, but I like that because you know you want to be outperformed by your peers, right? right. You can right keep right, you on right. your toes. So I've just got to hook everything up um, and obviously test. 
Yeah. Test, test, test. I want to optimize the front end. Yeah. Make sure that and do and basically build a like a very um, simple basic mode. A bit like a, an app store, a Chrome yeah. exten extension store, yeah, so yeah, people yeah. can just add the integration. So you yeah. already you already launched the domains, right? People have already yeah, yeah. been able to buy them. We had a land rush event, yeah. and it was it, it was insane. It was. Uh, it, 10 thousand domains flew out the door uh, within 24 hours that's we, amazing in order to kind of i think the team were a bit worried because we had to approve everything right so we decided to end early because you know people do have a life as well outside of this uh, so i developed some tools like ten thousand manual domain yeah I, I i developed oh. a tinder for domain <laughs> so we were swipe left or right in an admin panel and we were like we had all six team members like going through the domains like oh yeah that's legit that isn't you know, it did the job. We did it in three days. Three days, 10,000 between the team. Between yeah, yeah. You. yeah, people don't realize how big numbers are. Like, because to people, numbers are always abstract. But I yeah. can remember the first time I ever sold something online. Yeah. I sold a hundred of them. And I was like, oh, I could probably post them in an afternoon. It took me an entire weekend. It's like the t-shirts. Oh, God. <laughs> a nightmare. So yeah, 10,000, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so you launched the domains and then and now, and then after that, you also then launched the ability to change. Like, so you, since then, what else have you done? Yeah, we launched like the advanced platform, so yeah. people can play around with it, yeah. uh, and also an API so people can integrate. Yeah. So we've got quite a lot of partnerships and integrations as well. That's I wanted to start the adoption early. Yeah. And you don't actually need the decentralized, uh, um, or sorry, the smart contracts. Yeah. In order to, uh, you know, get partners and in integrations on board. Yeah. So I thought I would build out the initial API so those centralized versions can utilize it as well. Got it. Got it. Got it. And and you guys are doing quite well on API requests. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. We're up to a hundred k. You know, remember. Hundred thousand API a, a, requests. That's a, a month. Um, a so, month. A hundred thousand yeah. API requests a month. Yeah, yeah. And remember. We were speaking like early days of the grants program, yeah. and we were doing like 5k a week, 8k a week. Yeah. It's up to 25. 25k you know? a yeah. week. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. It's awesome. That's amazing. And yeah. so that that's sort of showing the latent demand that yeah, there yeah. is already for, for this kind of stuff, even before the Reddit ecosystem has gone live. Absolutely. Which yeah. is super exciting. I'm everywhere, every single day, we're, we're answering support requests. When, when domain, when domain. The, I, I'm really anticipating you know, when we drop during Babylon, how that first week's gonna go. I think it's gonna be in incredible. I think I think we're gonna be busy. We're not gonna sleep much. Gonna be busy. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> and so, um, last thing, we were talking a little bit about insurance. You, you mentioned yeah. insurance a couple of times. So how does insurance fit? Well, I'll give you a good example. So, uh, you might have a project that doesn't want to dox themselves to a whole, to a whole community. Um, traditionally, that's just a no-no, the community doesn't trust these people, but some people might be legit. Um, so you could actually go to, let's say, uh, a verification company that would, that would actually verify your details, um, your proposition, um, and then you could actually, that company could then hold insurance that you inherit, that person inherits. They could stamp you, you can stamp the approval of trust, basically. Um, and that project can then present the, to the community the domain that they're operating upon, and the community can say, oh, they've been audited by so-and-so or approved by so-and-so, we can trust them, but they can still work anonymously. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like the guys from Zeus, they're insane devs, like their code is so clean, but they can't dox themselves because of work, etc., because of the workplace. Um, yeah, so essentially Zeus could be fully trustworthy uh, and still be undocked. And they're awesome devs, and I mean, that's talent in the community, right? Okay, that's really, really cool. Well, it's, been, it's been such a pleasure talking with you, uh, and uh, I am super excited to have my domain, Piers You've XRD. got it. You, you yeah. just need, you need to get it just, on your I Twitter. Just need to get it on my Twitter. <laughs> we were going um, we to uh, have a, a, a marketing ploy. It's called the Piers Pressure Operation. <laughs> <laughs> and get the whole community to force you to put it in your Twitter display name. <laughs> uh, it will happen. It will happen. Um, but yeah, no, super excited to be able to use it. Uh, and like just get rid of the uh, whole idea of having to worry about addresses, having to worry about smart contract addresses, all this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so super awesome thing you're building, and uh, yeah, make sure you check it out. Make sure you go to XRD Domains. What is it? What's the website address? XRD Dot Domains. XRD Dot Domains. 
uh, and get yourself your XRD domain so that you can also have a human readable way of getting contacted on Radix. Thank you.